Hello everyone. Welcome back to machine learning sessions. In today's session, let us discuss about distance weighted KNN. We already discussed about KNN. The difference between KNN and distance weighted KNN is, I'll just give you a small example. For example, uh, if you are writing a car, exam, we have written an exam and we have to pick the best three papers. Okay. So if we have not seen the internal content and simply if we have picked the best three based on the marks that you have obtained or based on some other criteria. So that we can take it as a KNN. Whereas this distance weighted KNN. So though you go, those who got good score, they might not have a very good content or very good handwriting or some other criteria. Say suppose uh, if I have taken handwriting as a criteria. So in the distance weighted criteria, whosoever handwriting is very good, I will pick that as the first one. Okay. So like that, I'm giving some weightage to a specific criteria based on some factor, I'm giving weightage. So in the same way, here we will be giving greater weight to the nearest neighbors. Instead of randomly, uh, instead of picking all the three neighbors, okay? So out of the three also, my weightage should change, okay? So that is what we do in the distance weighted KNN. Let's get into the details. So here is the algorithm, okay? So here, if you observe, the algorithm is also very much similar to KNN. I'm telling you this so that you need not, uh, again, study the algorithm. You just remember what are the changes so that you can do better, okay? So again, our algorithm. So this is for the discrete value target function. You know the difference between, you should know the difference between discrete value and the target value. I'll explain you this when we go to the example. Okay, so here in the training algorithm, similar to the KNN, again, whenever you get an example, we are not doing anything, but simply we store it in the training examples. Coming to the classification algorithm, so whenever you, you got a new instance, XQ, so this has to be classified. So then, let X1, X2, X3, so on up to XK, they denote K instances from the training examples that are nearest to XQ. So that means, again, you have to calculate the distance using Euclidean distance. Okay, so based on that, you have to pick the K instances. So that has to be done. After that, how we are calculating this F cap of XQ, our target function is argmax of V belongs to capital V. So these are the set of values that we can take upon Sigma i is equals to 1 to k, w i dou of v comma f of x i. This dou of v comma f of x i we already worked out in KNL. So there what we did, suppose if the value of v and f of x i value is the same, we have given dou value as 1, otherwise we have given it as 0. So here also it is the same thing. But if you observe one more extra value we had here. So we are multiplying this dou value with w i. So we are multiplying with the weight. Okay, so how do we calculate this weight is 1 by the distance square. So already here we will be calculating the distance is so the same thing, the same value we can use, but we have to do 1 by the distance square, which will give us the WI value. So let's work out with this algorithm. Okay, so here is the example. So here if you see, these are the, this is what I meant by discrete value. So here you have three classes of data. This is our target class, target labels, so not sorry. This is our target instance. So it is having three values, medium, high, and low. And here we have taken the names and the distance walk and the calories consumed. Okay, so these calories consumed and all just randomly taken numbers. Okay, so don't mistake me, I'm not a doctor. I have just given the numbers randomly, okay? So now based on these values, whenever I take a new instance, it has to be classified. So in the training step, what will be done? All this information will be trying to store under training examples. So now coming to the new instance. So here we have our new instance. The new name is Sanjya and the distance walk is zero, zero, six kilometers and the calories she consumed is 200. Okay, so K value again is given as T. So now this new instance has to be classified. So that means you have to assign one target label to this. And here, 
for the simplicity of calculation, I have converted the calories from hundreds to the decimal points. Here, 3.2 is 320 calories. Okay, so 950 calories, 200, 260, like that. So now, when you are calculating the distance, you using Euclidean distance, this 250 also you should convert to just divide it with 100. So it will become 2.5. And now let's calculate the distance. It is square root of d1 minus d2. Okay. So d1 is 6 here. d2 is 5. 6 minus 5 whole square plus. So this C is C1 minus C2 whole square. 3.2 minus 2.5 whole square. Okay. So if you take the square root of that, we are getting a value of 1.22. Okay. So now this one you have to square it. 1.22 into 1.22 and take 1 by d square value. So it is 0 0.67. Okay. So here I have tab calculated and tabulated all the values. Okay. So rest of the values you can do yourself. So now we have to apply R max on this, right? We have to calculate F cap of X cube. So using the formula R max of WI. So here, similar to KNN, K value is three. So we have picked up the least three values, okay? So the first smallest value is 1.04, next is 1.11 and 1.22. So for your convenience, I have highlighted it with a different color. Okay, so these three we have picked up. So now what we should do, we have to take the weight associated with this, the WI values we have to consider. Okay, so the first WI value is 0 0.925 and here we is, we is the target label. So what are the possible target labels we have seen? They are medium, high and low. So now for each value of that, we are computing this new low value. So first let us take V value as low. WI value is 0 0.925. Low v is low and f of x i okay so associated with this value associated with this value the target label is also low then the next weight value 0 0.81 the next is w2 is 0 0.81 and the label associated with this is medium v value is low f of x i is medium the target label that you should remember the second one next the next value is 1.2 to the next k that we have picked is 1.22 the weight associated with this is 0 0.67 okay v value is low and the target label that is f of x i f of v value that you you take it is medium okay so this is how you have to map similarly for the next value also okay so for the next value, what will change? Only V value will change. The rest all will be the same. So here if you observe, medium, here it is low, low. Now V value is medium. So it is changed to medium, low. Here it is medium and medium. Here it is medium and medium. So again for the label high, V value high, high low, high medium and high medium. So now let us give the values for this. We already know what is, what is the dough value of this. If both V and F of XI are the same, so then we will be giving a value 1, right? So 1, rest, rest of the 2 is 0. Let me go back and show you once. Here both are 1. Both are same, so we will be giving a value of 1. Here we will give a value of 0. This is 0. Similarly, medium low, different values. So it will be 0. Medium, medium, same. So value of 1. Medium, medium, value 1. Here, high and low, different. So, value will be 0. High and medium, 0. High and medium, different value. So, 0. So, when we substitute, these are the values we are getting. So, now if you simplify, you are getting a value of, from the first one, you are getting 0 0.925. Next, you have two values here. So, from that, if you simplify, you are getting a value of 1.48. And then the last one gives us a zero. So now out of this, which one we have the maximum value? R max will always give you the maximum value. So here maximum is 1.48. So this one will become the target label. So for which value of V we got this? It is 
low, medium and high, right? So for medium, we got actually the closest one is low and the value associated with this, the weight associated with this, if you see, it is 0 0.925. Though the value is least, based upon this weight value, we are going to give some weightage to the label. So that, that is what we are we will be doing in the distance. Sorry, weighted KNN. So hence, the new instance is classified as medium. So based on this value of 1.48, this we obtained for the target label week. One second, I'll just go back and show you. Yeah, here. The first one, this is for low. The second is for medium. Third is for high, right? So we got a value of high, medium. So now, in some cases, what will happen is, so well, luckily here, the new instance is not matching with any of the values that we already have stored. So sometimes what will happen is the new data point, whatever you have taken, the query point XQ, it will exactly match with one of the instances that we have. So then what will happen? Your denominator will become zero. So then how will you calculate the distance? So when your distance is becoming zero, the Euclidean distance, you are taking one by d square. So in the denominator, if you have a zero, then a big problem, right? So in that case, what we do is simply we take f of x i value only as f cap of x q. Suppose if I have more number of instances like that, more are matching with the new target, whatever we have taken. So then what we have to do is out of that. So here you should observe the target labels. Out of that, whichever is having a majority, majority instances target label, you have to take that as the answer for this. Is it clear? Mostly you will not be getting these sort of questions, but by chance if you get also, you should be able to answer this. Is that clear? What is this F cap of X cube? The value that you are calculating. So instead of calculating all this, directly whatever is the value of this f of x i you just take that only for the instance where there is an exact match for example let us take 3 2 okay so the new instance that we have taken is also 3 2 so then what will happen your distance will become zero and w i will become infinity so that should not happen so in that case i will not calculate this f cap of x cube for this particular instance, I will not include it. Okay. So I will take this label only, the low only as the value of f, f cap of x cube for the new instance. Okay. So like that, if I have many number of instances, say suppose, uh, let us take the first five. Okay. So all these are matching, say suppose. So then what is the uh, maximum target label? Maximum number of times which label is repeated? It is low, right? So F cap of XQ will be taken as low because medium high and three low values are there. Okay, so like this, you have to assign a different value to this F cap of XQ. Hope you enjoyed the content. Thank you. If you like the content, please do share with others. Like and don't forget to comment. Thank you.